Now let's talk about data types in PHP. There are eight main data types in PHP. String, integer, double or float, boolean, array, object, null, and resources. Let's start with a string. A string is a sequence of characters. For example, name equals Amir. A-M-I-R. That's it. This is a string. In PHP, you can write your string inside single quotes or double quotes, like this. So what's the difference? When you write your string in single quotes, PHP won't interpret it. But if you use double quotes, PHP will interpret it. So let's see what I mean by that. Let's say I have a variable called x and the value is 10. Now I have another variable called set example and the example is x is x. Now if I echo example because it's single quotes, PHP will not interpret it. So index.php and will print out x is dollar sign x. But if I use double quotes here, PHP, as you can see, even in my IDE, it has changed the color of it. It will interpret it. And now if I print it out, it says x is 10. Now here it says x. Okay, this is a variable. Where is it? Here is x equals to 10. So it puts 10 here, so x is 10. You should be careful with when you use single quotes and when you use double quotes. Next, we have integers. This is super easy. Every number without a decimal is an integer. No problem. x is 100. 100 is an integer. And double or float, again, x equals 1.5. Every number with decimal is a double or float. Boolean is true or false. So it can be x equals to true or it can be x equals to false. And the important thing to know about Boolean is that it's case insensitive. So true, true, true true it doesn't matter all of them are boolean all of them are true and it's the same for false as well next is array array is a very important data type and it's super useful instead of saving each value with a new variable we can save multiple values in an array and hold all of them in one variable we will talk about arrays in detail a little bit later but for now let me show you an example so instead of writing x equals to 10 and y equals to 20 and z equals to 30, I can have an array like this. 10, 20, 30. And the thing with array is that you can have many data types. PHP doesn't force you to have the same data type in an array. So here I can also have a string, I can have doubles, I can have boolean, I can have another array inside this and no problem. PHP will take care of storing all these data for me and it's perfectly fine. The next one is object. Object is very important and we will talk about it in object oriented programming section. But for now, let me show you one of the objects that we use in PHP, which is date time. When we want to work with dates here, I say new date time. And here date time is a class and date is an object of this class. Next is null. Null is a bit tricky to understand for new programmers, but you will get used to it. It represents nothing. Null is nothing. Null is not false. Null is not zero. Null is not an empty string. It doesn't exist. It's nothing. 
So when we say x equals to null, it, x is nothing. Even if we don't define it, it's null. And like booleans, null is also case insensitive. So null and null and null is all the same, no problem. The last one is resource. Resource is external resources that we use in PHP like database and file. All of them are considered as resources. This is the end of this topic that was just the introduction to data types. We are going to use all of them in our projects during this course. So let's continue with the next topic.